The was betrayal. In the beautiful village of Tyraliat in Awil South, there were two best friends named Abak and Aluel. Both girls were tall and had the darkest, most beautiful skin that shined in the sun. Their bright eyes were full of dreams, and they did everything together. They were like sisters. One day, Abak fell in love with a young man named Ajak. He was strong and handsome, and had a smile that could charm anyone. Abak's heart fluttered every time she saw him. She would often tell Aluel how happy she was and how she wanted to marry Ajak one day. But Aluel didn't trust Ajak. She had many stories from other people in the village that Ajak wasn't a kind man. He was known for not treating people well, especially girls. Aluel loved her friend Abak and didn't want to see her hurt. One evening, as the sun was setting and the sky was painted with orange and pink colors, Aluel decided to talk to Abak about Ajak. Abak, Aluel said softly, holding her friend's hand. I don't think Ajak is a good man for you. I've heard many things about him. He doesn't treat girls well. I'm scared he will hurt you. Abak looked surprised. But I love him, Aluel. He makes me feel so happy. Aluel shook her head gently. I know you love him, but sometimes love can be blind. I just want you to be safe and happy. Please think about it. Abak trusted Aluel, so she decided to listen to her friend's advice. She thought long and hard, and eventually, she decided to end things with Ajak. It was a difficult choice, but Abak believed her friend only wanted the best for her. However, something strange happened. A few weeks later, Abak noticed that Aluel was acting differently. She was often missing, and when she was around, she was quieter than usual. Abak felt something was wrong, but she didn't know what it was. One day, as Abak was walking near the river, she saw something that broke her heart. There, under the big baobab tree, was Aluel sitting close to Ajak. They were laughing and talking like they were the best of friends. Abak felt her heart sink. She couldn't believe her eyes. How could Aluel do this to me? Abak thought. She felt betrayed and hurt. She ran back home with tears in her eyes. She couldn't understand why her best friend would go behind her back like this. The next day, Babak confronted Aluel. Why, Aluel? Why would you tell me Ajak was not good for me, but then you go and marry him yourself? Aluel looked down, her face full of guilt. I'm so sorry, Babak. I didn't mean to hurt you. I was only trying to protect you, but then I fell in love with Ajak. I didn't know it would happen, but it did. Please forgive me. Abak was angry and hurt. She felt like she had lost both her best friend and the man she once loved. I trusted you, Aluel. You were like a sister to me. Tears streamed down Aluel's face. She knew she had broken Abak's heart and their friendship. I know I've made a terrible mistake. I don't expect you to forgive me, but I want you to know I'm truly sorry. Abak turned away, her heart heavy. She walked away, leaving Aluel standing alone. From that day on, things were never the same between the two friends. Abak decided to focus on her own happiness and learn from this painful lesson. She realized that sometimes, even those closest to us can hurt us. But she also knew that life goes on, and she would become stronger from this. Abak promised herself to always be careful with who she trusted and to follow her own heart. And so, in the village of Tyraliat, Abak learned a valuable lesson about friendship, love, and betrayal. Though her heart was hurt, she knew she would find happiness again, with or without her old friend.